Game, you got blue. Come on, white. Hey, white. Game winner right there. Uh -huh. What's up, Reese? What's up? <laughs> Game winner right there. White and everything. White, white and everything. Alright. Protect that rim cover. They trying to throw his hands up, y'all. Throw a oop or something out of bounds. Yeah, no jump on the jump shot. We're not even gonna guard the inbound. Don't guard the inbound. Spread your legs. We ain't going to campus of the Lincoln University <laughs> with the men's basketball team and I got my young boys y'all don't know how much it means to me to see y'all wearing these uniforms yeah, I already know. Tommy Green Constitution Maurice Waters Constitution and Jordan Camper Chester High you already know super high. What, what, <laughs> what are we looking for this year, gentlemen, now, Jordan, you were here last year. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Reese and Tamir are new to the campus. First, let me get it. Anybody in love? Anybody getting married? I know how it works. I am. Oh, <laughs> see, he getting that out the way. Yeah, I'm telling you. Reese, you chilling? I'm telling right now. I had to so give me a little girl so I can stay focused. <laughs> <laughs> so, how, first of all, Reese and, and, and Tamir, how y'all adjusting the campus life up here? I mean, I already was in college, so I just transferred, so I already knew what it was like being on campus and everything. It's just like, it's, it's a different feel from UDC to Lincoln, though. But, like, I adjusted pretty good. Like, I'm starting to fill in with the team and everything, learning the plays and everything, so. Good. Oh, with me, well, I've been here since, like, August 11th because I was, I'm a freshman. And it's basically just, like, high school all over for me. It just more people, but it's, like, more attention. Uh... And like the campus don't even know like what's coming yet. They don't. They don't because they not. They not used to seeing winning. They not used to seeing winning. No, like all all the uh, athletic programs here besides you the know. Uh, men's and the women's basketball team. I ain't trying to disrespect nobody. But disrespect, but, but yeah. they they not a, Everybody looking they not there yet. So wait a minute. So y'all, we assuming. A bunch of wins. Is that what we doing, Joy? Okay. I know uh, we improve. I know um, the year before I got here, they won seven games, and last year we had twelve. I'm looking to get at least twenty. Yeah, we're going for twenty this year. We're going for the. We're going. We, we, we ain't getting knocked out of the first round in the, in the yeah. CIAA. A lot of doubting this year. We're going to the final four. Yeah. And yeah. listen, bro, this, well, this the thing. It's thirteen teams in our conference. Mm -hmm. CIAA ranked us for preseason twelve, so we we second to last. Oh, yeah. That's because they don't know. I they guess, don't know who y'all are. They don't know who. They don't know. Respect for us. That's all. Yeah, it's cool, yeah. though. So I'm I'm all. just glad that we got the Philly, Delaware County, Chester, you know, swagger going on up there. You know, how how in, in general is a lot of your friends from back home? Do they attend school here? Is it? I mean, it's a lot of Philly kids, it's a lot of Chester. It's, it's a lot of Philly people, Jersey, New York, yeah. DC, Maryland. It's a lot of people. Yeah, I went to high school with a lot of people that go here. Yeah. So, what do we have to do to get other really good all city, all county, all state basketball players to consider coming up here to play with y'all and play for Coach Doug? Well, once up. they see that, no, we just gotta get out there. I gotta, go <laughs> gotta get out the mindset of the whole D1 thing. Because, you know, I was, I was kind of like, kind of disappointed, you know, I, I ain't go D1. And I was like, damn, I'm coming to Lincoln. Like, I don't know, but then like talking to Coach Doug and like, if you hear what this man says, he he has followed through on everything he has told me he, he was going to do for this program. And like, he really just loves his program. And he's not in it for he money or nothing. Too. He just wants, he wants to raise us. And even the coaching staff, you see with Coach Dorian, he wants to raise the players, the coaches, like everybody around him. He just wants to bring them up. And that's the reason why I came here, because of Coach Doug. I mean, Coach Doug so wasn't here, I would not be here. Reese, it's a family feel here. Yeah. Like I, when I was at UDC, it was it was it was a little bad situation that I was at. So that's why I decided to transfer. When I came here, uh, I came with Tymer. Then like when I first came and played with the team, I felt like a family feel, like with the coaches, with the players, and everything. So like that's why I chose it. Now you and you and Tymer, y'all ain't lose too frequently. No. I mean, did y'all get a state championship or two? Uh, no, I did. He did. I did. <laughs> oh. <laughs> 
we we gonna fix that. But we definitely that. didn't yeah. lose a lot. Like we always was in the championship. It's as we probably lost in the championship. But y'all guys in touch with Rob? Yeah, yeah, I just I just actually was, uh visited Constitution last last week, last two last Monday. Go see him. Well, Come that's that's you know I'm here. It's yeah. Saturday morning. I played here in 1986, mm-hmm. so that's 32 years ago. But you know I got a lot, I got a lot of uh, history with Lincoln. They've been recruiting me since 10th grade. Like I've been coming up here. Like every time I came up here on on a visit, watch one of the games. I, he was up here too. <laughs> Do y'all feel it? I like, mean, people that actually go here. If you ain't from Lincoln, you don't understand. <laughs> but the people that went here when they run into you when they come back. It's a feeling that I think is unique mm-hmm. among area colleges. You know, people really passionate about the school. And like you said, it's been a long time coming, especially since we made the move to the CIAA. Guys want to go down north, down south for that tournament. And they yeah. want to win. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So that's what y'all going to bring to this program, man? Mm-hmm. Yes, I promise. And, uh, Say that again. I promise. Oh, okay. Put a band right. on the and, ladders, man. And, uh, like, I want, like, all of, like, the, the little kids kids that's in high school is 11th, 10th, 12th grade getting recruited. Like this D2, especially like CIAA, like this is a little, this is like, this is like a little division one. Mm-hmm. All the guards here are 25 and up. <laughs> <laughs> division one transfers. That's very yeah. true. Oh, the and, big uh, they strong. So it's like, I don't want, I, I be like trying to tell like some, some of the kids I know that's like playing ball and they probably like ain't getting the recruitment that they want. That like the D two D two is where it's at. Like yeah, like that D one stuff is okay, but it's like if you feel like I felt like I'm gonna have my best career at the D, Division two level. Mm-hmm. So and like all the coaches, uh, Coach Dorian, Man. Coach Coach uh, Doug, they've been mm-hmm. like I've been with them probably like they've been on me since Tim Green at all my practices and all my games. Well, and, what, what we want to say to uh, the family of uh, Bernard Lightsey because if uh-huh. it, it was an ordinary day he would be in this room with us mm-hmm. laughing and joking uh-huh. and yeah. I know he suffered a, a, a great loss to him yeah. you want to make any kind of statement to him and oh, his yeah, family? Uh, yeah that's yeah. Um, Bernard my roommate so I know uh-huh. I know what's going on I talked to him about it but we are actually going to the funeral to go support him today at his grandmother yes. passed away well, Bernard we wish you all the best from the extended Lincoln family and your teammates we got you back, and I'm sure these guys is going to see you in a couple of hours, man. Mm-hmm. I really appreciate this, guy. I'm here for all these wins y'all talking about, man. You're going yeah. far. Got you. All right, man. Like the next, for like the next three, four years, is going to be crazy. Yeah. I believe. I believe. Nice. L.U. And you. we ain't going nowhere. Like, we don't care about no Division yeah. One trying to recruit us. At the no. Somebody right. need to get y'all a game. Drexel, yeah. Ryder. Nah, Dell State, they want to be all game. We want to duke it over. That's what we want. We, we want going to win over. the CIAA's this year. Virginia yeah. State won the CIAA's this year. No, Virginia Union. Yeah, Virginia, 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 Virginia Union won the CIAA's duke. and they played Duke. We want oh, they duke. gave them that game. Yeah, yeah we, we want played Duke. duke. We, we want Duke and Nova. We want Duke and Nova. You see this right here? Duke, Nova. Duke, Nova. Oh, y'all, we're out there. We already ready for them. But, yeah, anyways, uh... Yeah, I'm just, I love the energy. Exciting, I love the excitement. Like this, like, hope, this team is like, it's just, crazy. I ain't never been on a team like this. I swear to God, like, I, love, I never been on a team like this. But it just, be different. it's just different. Yeah, like I love, I love college basketball. <laughs> well, college basketball, gonna love y'all guys, man. I appreciate this. Thank you guys. Yeah. Oh, that's that's cool. Cool. Did I call a lot of plays? Did I stop y'all? Was y'all getting the ball off the court? Yeah. I want to play with pace. I want I want to try to score 100 points. You know what I'm saying? And, and defend the way we defend. So that's why we do transition deeper, so we can lock up and then get the ball off the court and let you guys play, man. We shouldn't have to call. We run that thing in with no time to score. And y'all running and get everybody getting shot. You took more shots than anybody. And that's your job. You know, but when you're doing all that, they take you out of your game. But that was your game. And you, like everybody's starting to understand their roles now. You getting shots. You getting, making plays. You know, everybody was unselfish. Good, right? We talk, we talk about different stuff in practice every time. 
we can do a thousand drills, but when it comes down to it, it's all about in-game <coughs> situations. Right. So that's why we do scrims. Get conditioning in. It's a thinking game. Again, I had to tell you, hey, we up one with a minute left, so now instead of you speeding it up, now you got to slow it down. They got to guard for 30 seconds, opposed to us getting a quick shot off with 25. So it's all a thinking process. But fellas, like you said, we're here. First game, what, Saturday? Yeah. We're here. So let's Way to bring it, man. Yo, I'm, I, I keep saying it about y'all. We get on y'all. I know y'all. Sometimes I ride y'all. We ride y'all. But y'all wake up Saturday morning on this campus after Friday night. Y'all come here. Y'all don't complain. I know what's going on. But y'all come here. Y'all ain't missing nobody. Everybody come on time. <clears throat> Everybody come on time. And uh, and, and y'all give us a hundred percent effort every day. That's gonna pay off at the end of the yes, day. Sir, yes, sir. That's what I tell y'all. From from say I, I haven't forgot about September. Six o'clock training, you know what I mean? Me, People cutting through campus and stuff like that. You know, now y'all getting in shape. Now we getting in there. We played against a nationally ranked team and held our own after being on the bus for four hours. Y'all ain't complain. You know what I'm saying? So that, that says a lot about our character. We get on y'all, but everything I get on y'all, think about it, is to make y'all better. And then when y'all do it right, y'all get successful. I'm riding you, and I don't know if any coach ever did it before, but you've been very accepted to our coaching. And we watching you get better, and you making your team now. These guys want to play with you, right? That's what it's about. That's what it's about you getting better. Everybody, Jordan, you hitting threes, you dunking on people. Hitting threes. We, we, we get them, then you going coast to coast, and you dunking. <laughs> well, guess what? Yeah, duh. We want to see you do that in the game, right? We want to see you do it in the game. So when you get a rebound, go coast to coast, and make the whole crowd go off and hit threes. But you gotta play defense, and we gotta rebound. What you have in there? Uh, Reese and them, the, the local Tamir. boys. We had Reese, Jordan. Tamir, and Camper. Okay. And they told me after they win the CIAA championship, they won Duke or Nova next year. There you go. And then That's they showed goal. me where y'all wrote that on the board, duh. That's how we doing it. We got big plans up here at Lincoln University. Man. <laughs> hey, man. That's all the way you can do it. You know, set goals and get guys that believe in they sell, they all playing together, they care about each other, and, and they work hard every look. It's early Saturday morning, nine o'clock, they competing and <laughs> beating the mess out of each other, so that's what we want, man. And they, and they, they, and they we all young, so they gonna learn, they gonna play together for the next few years, so, you know, the foundation is being set. Well, I see you and Mr. Lett over here, y'all guys are making a real impact on the local recruiting scene. I mean, you getting some guys that was all city, all state, all county in Delaware County, Jordan Camper, Tamir Green, Maurice Waters. These are guys that had Division One looks. Um, some guys, you know, they decided to come up here to Lincoln. What is the selling point? How are you getting these guys to come and play for you here? Um, well, I mean, I guess it, I mean I, I just think what we're, is what we're doing here. I mean, they excited about it. players, recruit players. So, you know, when you start getting guys like Day Day from Camden and Jordan. Um, you know, you know they talk and they see what's going on here. They, they they see how we we put our arms around them and care about them. It's a beautiful campus up here in Lincoln. Um, we want this to be the place. You know, if guys want to go Division Two. We want this to be a place, and we know how many great schools in the state of Pennsylvania. But we we you know we want this to be a, a place that the guys are starting to look at, and they are. I mean, y'all got the gym looking good. Whoever is in charge of the renovations and all that, the lighting is is good. The paint job. It's good. We just need you to come good. up here to show the world like people oh, don't know. Oh, I'm here. It's I'm a sleeping six, like six, that's six, why I said man. we love it. You know, it's it's a sleeping giant. Oh man. That, you know, I mean. and CIAA is a great league. The tournament is great. And people don't know. Like Lincoln is it's beautiful, man. It's, it's like a family atmosphere up here. And everybody are like, Doug, why you go to Lincoln? I'm like, Doug, y'all don't understand. It's really nice, understand. man. I enjoy it. it and it's um, a different vibe when, it's it, a when different the crowd vibe. is in here. Yes. And it's yes. a rivalry game, I imagine, probably Bowie, yep. Cheney, those games. Virginia Union and them yeah. just packed, man. The students. The energy level is Yeah. I mean, they excited the band. We got a six man with the uh student section. Um, like you said, we got guys like, you know, they from Philly, we got, you know, Philly, D.C., everybody, you know, players from all over, um, and they just excited, man, you know, and we, you know, we just want them to get an education and, and get a degree, Gene got his master's degree from Lincoln, so. Oh, that's done? Yes, yeah, sir. that's done. He so got it. Oh, you and your dad the same day, right? We yeah. got it, yep. Oh. Got it last May. Oh, last your little May. brother made a move, huh? Camden High, yes, sir. Ah. Yes, sir. Yeah. And y'all offered him, too, right? Yeah, yeah you know. he did. The first to offer him. The first to offer him. <laughs> not see it let. All right, man. So where do you fit 
linking into the Philadelphia basketball scene overall. You know, it's kind of, you know, Nova's kind of out there on their own, you know, the, the, where they are right now. There's really no comparison with anybody else. But I think on any given day, you take a look at Ryder. I think Ryder, I think you guys could play with Drexel. You could play with Westchester. I mean, we got some good basketball going on around here. It seems like certain coaches are doing a little bit better than others in terms of keeping kids home. You know, I think you guys are doing a good. Kevin Baggett is doing a spectacular job recruiting Philadelphia. Uh, Phil Martelli still getting some. Aaron and Ashley, they trying to, you know, make that in rows. What does it take to recruit Philly kids? Well, I mean, again, you got to keep them here. And I think it's starting to come back around. Like you said, back in the day, John Cheney started at Cheney University. Yes, and a bunch of Philly guys. The temple, right, with a bunch of Philly. So we kind of look at it like that. Mm -hmm. You know, you know, we want all our guys to go to Temple, LaSalle, Villanova, but not everybody gonna make it to that level. So we want we <laughs> want them to be we want Lincoln to be that place that, you know, they feel like they had a division one program. I'm gonna run it, we wanna run it like a division one program. Mm -hmm. Um and you know, so they you know, like Tamir and those guys, they feel like they can get everything they can get right here as well. That's what they say. Um so you know, now we just got to put it all together. We still early in our, 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 you know, our program here, so we still learning. But we getting, you know, we getting ready. We just played East Stroudsburg. You know, we competed our butts off with them. The coach love it. He want to keep playing us every year because, you know, we pushing each other. So we see that it's going in the right way. But there's so many great programs in the city. You got Aaron. You got Ashley. Mm -hmm. um, like you said, uh, Jay Wright. Jay doing his thing. He even said to me, "Look, when your guys start winning." 20, 25 games, we'll play y'all. So, you know, you know I'm going to hold him to it. But, you know, that's what Philly is all about. We support each other. And I'm sure once we get, you know, this program going, we'll be able to play LaSalle and Temple. And, and those guys, they'll give us those games to help us get the exposure we need. Your four-year guys graduating from here, man? Yep, we got guys graduating from here, man. And, and uh, you know, we want them to be able to go on and, and you know, continue to play or, or go to Masters. You you using your connects to help them find an agent, find oh, an absolutely. opportunity, Come on, to play overseas. We, got, we got guys, we only been here. Second, we got guys that's already been here that's playing overseas okay. uh, from here, and, you know. So it's already happening, and these guys believe that, you know, it can happen with them, and, and I'm sure it will in the next few years. Well, Doug, as always, man, I, I appreciate you being here. First of all, you have breathed life into the Lincoln University basketball program at the Division II level. We are now considered, you know, competitive, a factor. According to your players, we taking it this year and <laughs> next year and the year after that. Go. So we look forward to all of that, man. Any final words, Mr. Lett? No, I appreciate y'all. If y'all in the local area, come out, support. Like you said, we got a good thing going. Um, Philly legend, NBA uh, former NBA player Doug Overton. There's a lot of good things going on. So come out support. We got a good group of guys. We're looking to win. L U. Doug. Same here. He said it all, man. Thank thank you for coming out here, Dell. Former Lincoln alum, and uh, you know we're looking for everybody to giving us the support. Hopefully, we can put together a game in Philly mm -hmm. in the next couple of years, uh, like some type of classic or. Uh, uh, maybe a Division Two HBCU Classic in Philly. Wow! Um, I'm sure yeah. you guys and, and yourself can help us put that together. But that's that's what we plan. We want to bring Lincoln to Philly, back to Philly as well. All right, we gonna work on that later. Oh, boy, oh, boy.